Hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt, and today we're going to be looking at the Molten Spring update, which is currently in beta. You can play it right now, or you can wait until June the 6th when it will make its way over to the main branch. Lots of new UI stuff. Uh, Jopper has changed uh, in a big way. So let's, uh, let's jump right in and let's take a look. I'm just going to build my last character here just to show off a few things. And then we will get right into it. We're going to start in Jopper. You can see. Brand new uh, loading screen, which is quite nice. And let's take a look here. So right off the bat, you can probably see a bunch of new tiles. There's lots of new sound effects and lots of new visuals in this uh, update. Mehmet looks different. We have a brand new warden up here, which we'll look at in a moment. You can see we have new tiles here on these uh, brinestalk houses. We have brinestalk fence. Which, unfortunately, and I've tested this, it means you can no longer loot these buildings for free and expect to get away with it. You can still do this building here. Just make sure you close the door. But this one and this one now have this pesky uh, fence here, which honestly I'm absolutely fine with because sometimes you could actually get some really nice loot in here and it kind of uh, kick-started the game, made it a bit too easy. Over here, Argive has a brand new uh, sprite as well as all of these cool little gizmos and machines in his workshop which I, I think really adds a lot and sells him as the, the village tinkerer. If we go up to the uh, elder's house here, you can see this is now different. We have a, uh, a new sprite for the elder. We also have a little back room here, which is really nice. Just looks a lot more lived in. Um, and a lot more in visually interesting, I would say. We have a brand new uh, NPC here. This is Nima Ruda. They are a herbalist. So they'll sell you, uh, you know, lots of uh, like food. And we have, as always, Tam over here, which... Pretty much is the same, I would say. He looks the same. But I think the, the main thing with this update is the UI overhaul. So let's start by looking at the equipment screen. Get ready. Boom. Look at this. So I love this system. Uh, it might look a bit chaotic. That's because we have two heads and multiple arms. Um, but basically, you have this central body square here, and then everything that comes off the body will be listed as such with these lines. So we have our left head and our right head. We have uh, our lower right arm here, upper left arm here, upper right arm here, and then we'll have our left arms here, which is really cool. Feet is down here. I think this is such a cool system. Uh, it probably will get quite hectic if you're um, running a Chimera build with a ton of limbs, but we'll see. Uh, this is pretty much the same as always, just a lot cleaner. I think this new UI looks amazing. They did a really, really great job on that. You can also cycle through these tabs up here with Q and E, like this. And as always, you can press the plus and minus to shrink these uh, subcategories. Let's take a look at the attribute screen. Again, this looks amazing. The fact that we have this little secondary attributes uh, window here is really nice as well. Um, and it's nice that you can actually hover over these and it will give you a description. Really cool. Resistances down here, mutations here as always. Um, I feel like this makes the mutations a lot cleaner now as well. You also get the nice little uh, pictures up top. Skills and powers. Pretty much the same as before, but I think the, uh, the new font size really helps this out a lot. You can get everything kind of on screen at once now. 
And again, plus and minus to open and close these categories, or you can just open them individually as usual. I think this looks amazing. Uh, we have a new message log here. We have a brand new reputation screen with uh, pictures of all of the different um, all the different factions, which is nice. Just a, a nice kind of visual thing. Brand new quest screen here with a little mini map, which is really nice. Um, interested to to really delve into this properly. I think being able to see a kind of uh, smaller version of the world map from your uh, mini from your quest log is such a nice touch. Before you would have to go to the overworld to see this, so this is really nice. New tinkering screen. Don't have any uh, recipes, but this looks pretty much the same, just with a a, a new uh, splash of paint. Brand new journal again with a mini map, really cool. Go through the subcategories with Q and E. Uh, not quite sure what this is for yet, but I'm sure this will be um, become obvious at some point, whatever that is. And then we're back to the uh, inventory and equipment screen. Uh, I think this this new U UI looks amazing. We also take a quick look at the new warden here. Warden Irami, I want to say, is how this is pronounced. R.I.P. to Warden Yoreg. Um, I think the um, description may be more or less the same. I'm not quite sure why we have a new Warden here, but hey, there you go. They definitely still have the Icy Vapor. So yeah, I think it's pretty much uh, the same, just with a, a new uh, coat of paint. Uh, there's a whole bunch uh, of new sound effects, visual effects, new sprites, all of that good stuff. Um, there's a new system, I think, now by if we attack uh, an NPC and then we run away a few screens, they'll no longer forgive us instantly. I think it takes time now for them to forgive us, which is... Oh, that was a new sound effect. Which is a new uh, quality of life thing. I think it makes the game just a little bit more... A less less cheesy less cheesable you know obviously we always have to pet stesiphus here and that's pretty much all of the changes for Joppa and the ui there's a whole bunch of there's um there's a rework of the naftali tribe um and a few other things which i seem to have forgotten but uh with that said uh once the uh this update makes it to the main branch. We're going to start a new playthrough and explore everything, hopefully, together. See what new stuff has been added. And until then, enjoy Caves of Card. Remember, you can play this right now in the beta branch, which you can join on Steam. Or I think it uh, hits the main branch on the 6th of June. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.